Let's say that you're trying to set up Sonar Cube, but you're running into some problem where it says that Sonar Cube server cannot be reached error. So how do you resolve this? That's exactly what we are going to learn in this short video. So if you look at the prerequisites, let's say that you are trying to configure Sonar Cube using Docker Compose. So all the instructions I have documented here. Let's say that you know you are trying to set up a Sonar Cube using Docker Compose. Uh, so if you look at the log file, you are getting this particular issue. Sonar Cube is stopped, and then it also says that. Uh, you need to have a maximum virtual memory configured. So it says that this is too low. You need to increase it to you know this particular number. So how do you troubleshoot this and then how do you resolve? This? Awesome. So let's get started. I have already created one EC2 instance in the AWS cloud. So this is my Sonar Cube instance, which is actually uh, you know this EC2 instance is up and running, but I'm trying to install Sonar Cube. Uh, so I have configured Sonar Cube using Docker Compose. So this is the Docker Compose file. Okay, and then if you try to check the log file here, so this is the problem I keep getting. So as you can see here, it will say Sonar Cube server is stopped. You see here, and then this is kind of you know going in loop. If you see here, it says that Sonar Cube server is stopped, and then it also says that uh, you see here maximum virtual memory this is kind of too low so we need to increase to this particular number right so this will kind of you know keep on going in loop how to resolve this issue that's exactly what we are going to learn so what we have to do is let me take you back to my website so this is my website coachdevops.com i will be posting the link right below the video as well uh, so if you click on this particular link so this particular link talks about what are the prerequisites if you are trying to set up sonar cube uh, so this is obviously Sonar Cube website. So if you scroll down, uh, if you look for nodes related to uh, platform nodes related to Linux, you see here. So that's exactly what we are trying to do, right? So we are trying to configure Sonar Cube on Ubuntu, which is one of the Linux distribution. So here it clearly says that you need to have these values configured. So we need to have your maximum virtual memory account should be this one. And then you also need to have your uh, file descriptor open file descriptor supposed to be this number, right? So this number. So let's make sure that we have these two values configured correctly uh, on the Ubuntu operating system. So let me take you back to my instructions here. So if you see here, you can fix this issue on two different ways. You can fix this issue temporarily, uh, or you can uh, resolve this issue once for all, right? So like permanently. So let's take a look at uh, these two uh, options. So you can execute these two um, you know commands on the command line so that this will at least resolve this issue for the current session Okay, but when you try to restart your EC2 instance next time, so this will be gone, right? So you have to redo this again, okay, but if you open up this particular file, this is a system configuration file uh, You can resolve this issue uh, permanently. So this is what I would recommend. Okay, so let me um, execute this command so if you see here, so this is the configuration file for, uh, you know, your Linux operating system or your Ubuntu where you can set up any kind of a system level, you know, variables. Okay. So let me go to the end of the file. And then all you have to do is just add these two lines. Okay. So this one is like maximum map count. So this is dealing with the virtual memory. And then this is nothing but uh, you know how many open file limits you know you can have so we want to have at least this right so so once you open this file add these two values make sure this is uncommented okay make sure this is uncommented and then let's save this file okay uh, so whenever you make any operating system level changes you need to make sure that you know either you restart your ec2 instance or what we can do, we can execute this particular command in order to make sure that the system level changes are you know taken into effect immediately. So as you can see here, so this was taken care, right? Perfect. So now, why don't we quickly go ahead and then you know check our Sonar Cube, uh, you know log file? So I'm gonna execute this particular command. I'm gonna say logs and then follow. There you go. So as you can see right now, uh, I think that issue got resolved. So if you see here, 
it is trying to load the rules trying to you know configure postgres sql database uh, there you go so it's trying to load the plugins wow see here guys it says that sonar cube is operational so we did not see this uh, message earlier in the logs so now if i go to my ec2 instance and then get the public uh, ip address or public dns name and uh, let's go to the browser and then the default port number is 9000 wow there you go do you all see here guys right now this is the sonar cube right so of course you can log in now the default username and password for sonar cube is admin admin and as soon as you try to log in it will immediately ask you to something else there you go you see here guys so now we are able to log in into sonar cube successfully so basically you know whether you try to configure sonar cube using docker compose or uh, you know whether you are trying to configure sonar cube by downloading the zip file or extracting you know the zip file and then there are so many ways you can configure sonar cube but this is really applicable uh, for for both scenarios right so whenever you're trying to set up sonar cube on on any of the linux distributions so you need to make sure that you have these values configured correctly right so that's it guys i hope this video was really useful and thank you for watching this video.